This demo covers a full latent growth analysis. So I'll conduct, conduct my analysis, full latent growth analysis, using this model here with these results as a basis. I'm going to reduce the size of the screen. I'll keep it open like this. And I'll go to the option Explore, Full Latent Growth. And I'll resize the screen so that I can see both screens open at the same time. OK. So here we are. Here's my full latent growth window. Let me move the screen a little bit to the side. OK. So I'll conduct a full latent growth analysis which is essentially an analysis of the effect of any variable, including indicators, in my model on the uh, links in the model, including the link that includes that particular variable. So I will conduct a latent growth analysis where my latent growth variable will be a latent variable. And it will be this one, e-collaboration. And this is first degree latent growth. So here are my main results, the latent growth coefficients. And I have two relatively strong latent growth coefficients. This one between e-collab, the latent growth variable, and the link e-collab and success. That's this link here. So this is equivalent to a self-moderation link, first degree, self-moderation. So the fact that this link is strong and, and statistically significant suggests to me that there is a nonlinear relationship between these two variables, which may be warp 2, that's self-moderation. Now, if I go to degree growth, second degree, I can see whether this is a, 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 a double self-moderation, which would suggest a warp 3 relationship. I can also see that in a direct moderation uh, between e-collaboration and the link between project management and success, this one, there seems to be a moderating relationship. Now notice that these results do not include the moderating variable in the model. So they are more in line with what I would obtain through a multi-group analysis or a latent growth analysis where the moderating variable is actually hidden from uh, the other variables in the model. Now, so first degree growth is it refers to self-moderation or moderation. Second de degree growth refers to more complex self-moderation or double self-moderation, which seems to be the case here. Self-moderation. Um, and uh, the, the evidence of uh, double moderation uh, of E collaboration on this relationship between project management and success is significant, but the coefficient is rather small. So let's operate on the assumption that these results that I've just seen suggest to me that there is a nonlinear relationship between e collaboration and success, and that's of the warp 3 type, so it's a double self moderation and also that there is a moderating relationship between e-collaboration and this link here, which, is, which has this magnitude. So what I'll do is I'll change my model and see how the model looks uh, with these new uh, relationships um, settings. So I will close this window. And first thing that I'm going to do is I'm, I will include that, moder that moderating link 
suggested by my analysis. I don't actually have to do this. I could just use the results of that analysis in a paper. Uh, but I can also change my model based on what that analysis, latent, full latent growth analysis, is suggesting. So I'm going to save model and close. And I'm going to also change the inner model between e-collaboration and success to what was suggested by my analysis, which was a double self-moderation, which is an indication of a warp 3 type of relationship. I'll save my settings. I will perform the analysis. And I can see that this link became significant, although it's rather weak. And there was a moderating relationship uh, when I include that relationship in the model, and it's rather strong. So let's take a look at the plots associated with this. So the plot for the nonlinear relationship is here. And the plot for the moderating relationship is here. This is a 3D plot, and this is a focused graph of the moderating relationship. And so this concludes this demo.